Hey, my name is Brett Bauer. I run the largest sauna detox group in the world on Facebook with uh, about 44,000 members, probably more by the time you see this video. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you exactly how much electricity cost it is for a sauna in your location. See the sauna salespeople and that they say whatever they've got to to make a quick sale. I don't care whether you get the right song for the most part. I mean, there's a few that care, but they all seem like they care because that's the sales game, right? You seem like you care. And then after they buy you, they're dead to you and they don't care if they got the right size song or the right model, whether your electricity bills off out the roof or whatever. I mean, like they just don't care. Well, since I run this group, I'm considered the number one expert in the world on saunas and social media because it's all I've done for nearly a decade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to figure out exactly how much it's going to cost to run your new sauna in terms of electricity. So there's three things you need to know. The first thing you need to know is the, uh, the fact that there's a heat up time. Now, again, the sauna salespeople are going to lie and say, oh, our saunas heat up in 15 minutes. What do you mean heat up in 15 minutes? Like it's warmer? Like unlike everybody else in the industry, I can't lie to people because I have a Facebook group. And if I lie to people, then they say, oh, Brett, you said it warms up in 15 minutes. It takes an hour. So it's just much easier to tell the truth. And I feel a lot better about myself by doing so. So most saunas, infrared saunas, take about an hour to heat up. Uh, hot rock saunas are pretty similar. It depends on the, on the sauna itself. But figure roughly an hour heat up time. And just for the sake of discussion here, we're going to figure an hour of sauna time. Okay. So that way we just figure two hours. Okay. Now you can adjust it accordingly. Okay, so the first thing is um, you have to understand is that a kilowatt is a thousand watts. A kilowatt hour is a thousand watts for an hour. So think of it this way. Let's say you had a space heater that's a thousand watts and you ran it for an hour and you live in the average part of the United States, which that's like having 2.3 kids. Um, you know, it's, there's no average, but let's say that you're at this at the average or near the average, and let's say it's 10 cents an hour, um, 10 cents per kilowatt hour, and you run your space heater that's 1,000 watts for one hour. It's going to cost you 10 cents to run, or 10.42 cents on an average in the United States. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to figure out which, how many watts not how many amps or how many volts or any of that, just how many watts is the sauna. So we'll go over here to, this is a popular brand, we'll go over here to uh, Clearlight Jacuzzi uh, Saunas, and we will take a quick gander at it. And then we see, okay, this is a sanctuary full spectrum one person sauna. It's 1,750 watts. So what we do is we take 1750 and we're going to say two hours, hour heat up time, hour sauna time, and we'll multiply it with times two. Now, if you're just going to do an hour and a half, then multiply it times 1.5. So times two is 3,500. So that's 3,500. We drop the zeros. Now we've got 3.5 kilowatt hours because we dropped two zeros. 3.5 kilowatt hours. Now what we do is we say, okay, well, what's the electricity? Now you can go to your electric bill and figure out exactly because it might be, but you could just go online and, and say, okay, I live in Chicago. And so let's say, and it's going to be really close. Some neighborhoods are going to be slightly different, but it's not going to vary drastically in, in um, different parts of town. Okay. So, so you're 18.4 cents a kilowatt hour times three. Point five equals 64 cents. So it costs you 64 cents each time you use your sauna. And then let's say you're an every other day sauna user. And so then you say, okay, I'm going to use it every other day. And so 0.64 times, say, 15 days a month is $9.6 a month. So it's going to be $10 a month if you live in Chicago. Now, Chicago is pretty expensive. Chicago is, is 
almost double the national average. It's 18.4 cents instead of 10.4 cents. So then let's, now we're going to go to just one other quick example, um, and then I'm going to share with you some other super important information. So this is a 240 volt. This is a big sauna. It's not huge, but it's a bigger sauna, which by the way, there's some gimmicks in sauna sizing that you really have to be careful of. Like again, <laughs> salespeople, I, I just hate it because I, I see people all the time who, who, who don't have the right information and then they get their, they get their quote two person sauna. And then it's like, it's like, imagine hiking up Everest and you've got your two man tent and then you get halfway up and then you go to pitch your tent. You're like, there's no way we're fitting two people in here. We were lied to. Well, that's the sauna industry filled with lies. And I help you to sort that out. So that's why people reach out to me and get reliable information. And um, because I have data from 44,000 members on the truth about saunas in every aspect in terms of safety, reliability, um, actual size of them and, and com comfort and all these different aspects of it that are really important that the manufacturers, they, you know, like the salespeople, they're just going to say, oh, no, it'll be great. Just, just hurry up because I want to want to make my commission. All right. Um, and anyway, so we, if you want to get a hold of me, by the way, which most people who are, you know, you're going to spend four or five grand on a sauna. My God, don't get the wrong one. I've seen it happen over and over again because the sauna industry is unregulated. And so what that means is that these, these companies can lie to you. They can say, oh, our sauna is low in EMFs. Well, I've seen it happen over and over again. And I can show you group member reviews of every single brand of saunas and what the EMF levels are because, and also toxins, they use toxic glues, plastics, plywood, things like that. And then it, those toxins heat up and fill the cabin with an invisible smoke of toxins. And then it's basically now a toxic cancer box. It's like the difference between a bottle of water that's in a, in a hot car versus a plastic water bottle that's in a fridge. One's going to taste like plastic because the heat migrated the toxins in, into the water. It's the same thing with the sauna. Most of them are toxic cancer boxes. I can tell you which ones are an updated list of which ones are and which ones aren't. But you have to join my Facebook group, which, hey, if you're making this kind of investment, you might as well like also learn how to use it and join the biggest community in the world on saunas. And um, I'll post a link to it below. Um, so um, in the in the uh, description or, or whatever, I'm not a super awesome YouTuber, but I'll put it I'll put it down below probably in the description or or in the first comment or something like that. So so you'll be able to easily find uh, our Facebook group as well as I'll post a video on how to wire your sauna that I posted a while back. Very very popular, save you a ton of money. Um, that's why I have very loyal following because I'm no BS, like, unlike most people out there in the in the sauna industry sauna industry is like used car salesman it's terrible all right so we have this 240 volt sauna getting back to this um but again doesn't matter we don't care about the volts or the amps now if they if they don't have the if they don't have the watts what you can do is you can multiply volts times amps and i'll show you how this works out so 240 volts times 12 amps equals 28 Okay, they're saying 2,800 watts because they're they're rounding up. It's actually like 11.5 amps, but they're just saying 12 amps. But that's how you figure out the, um, so so you just figure 2,880 um, watts in that case. It just doesn't have to be exact. All right, um, so we've got 2,880. And let's say in this case, you're going to just use your sauna for an hour and a half a day. So 1.5. One, so that's 1.5 hours, right? And so now we're at 4.3 kilowatt hours. And then let's just say, hypothetically speaking, we're at the national average, 10.4 times 4.3 equals... 44 cents. I should have put a point before that. So it's 44 cents to use your sauna. So 44 cents. And let's say you're a dedicated sauna user and you use your sauna 25 days a month. It's going to cost you 11 bucks a month. So sauna use is very, very, very affordable in most cases. And I also have a guide, by the way. Um, I invented a proprietary way to 
to uh, insulate the sauna because the people at the sauna industry, they haven't figured out yet. Sorry, I'm feeling a little snarky today. <laughs> they haven't figured out yet that heat rises. And so these saunas, they don't even have insulation in the roof. And so the heat just rises right out of them. They're very inefficient. I mean, they work. It's fine. It's not a huge deal. But if you insulate the roof of your sauna, it'll get hotter. It'll it'll heat up better. It'll It's more energy efficient. Like, And I wrote a free guide on exactly how to do it. It costs you $30 to make your sauna. And you'll sweat a ton more, by the way. So anyway, um, you definitely... Obviously, you can tell I nerd out on all things saunas, and in order to get the right sauna, which you want to do, join the Facebook group. My name's Brett. I'm this guy here, and I run the group. You'll see. I'll, I'm the one that will add you to the group, and then you can just message me and say, hey, Brett, what about this brand of sauna? And I'll show you independent group member reviews of each and every brand of sauna. I also have a specialized sauna guide on sizing and electrical requirements, which they'll, they'll do people. They'll be, oh yeah. Yeah. So you'll look at it. Oh, it's 120 volts. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. It's going to plug in a regular, you get it. And there's a weird looking plug on it. You're like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's, it's 20 amps or it's 25 amps. You're like, well, that doesn't plug into a regular outlet. And so you, you just don't want to have any gotchas or gimmicks. And the way you do that is by, by reaching out to me and asking me these questions. And this is what I do all day long is help people improve their health with sauna use and help them get the right saunas. And I've also helped people get discounts on saunas. So I guarantee the best prices because I'm, I'm set up with like group buys with the, the sauna companies. Anyway, so reach out to me and I will help you to make sure that you're not making a huge mistake with by getting a toxic cancer box or getting one that has a substandard warranty or a company that's gone bankrupt before or any of the landmines in the sauna industry. I I help people avoid those. Um, So click the link below for the uh, how to wire your sauna if you're getting a bigger sauna video and then also join the Facebook group. And I look forward to seeing you chat with me. And then I'll also uh, put my email below for those of you who um, don't have Facebook, but if you do have Facebook, you definitely want to join the group. It's an awesome community. It also shows you how to use your sauna and all this other super helpful stuff. So I look forward to hearing from you.